Polar Corner Entry and Mouse Entry using AutoCAD 2013 Educational Version. In this tutorial, we're going to use the line command to complete two rectangles using two different methods of entry. So I'm going to start off with typing line to get my, point, my line command going. And we're going to start the first one at 6, 2. This is just a location on the screen. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is use the polar coordinate entry. And this is, by def definition, giving a line length or a length and an angle. So I'm going to use the at symbol. Then I'm going to go, in this case, 2.5 units on the x-axis. But I'm going to go at an angle of 0. And there's my first point. Then I'm going to use the at symbol. And I'm going to go 1.5 units high on the y, but it's an angle of 90. And you can see what's happening. I'm going to use again the at symbol, and I'm going to go 2.5 units uh, back on the x at 180 degrees this time. Okay, And you can see where it's at. And then finally, I'm going to use the c to close off the rectangle. And there is what is called polar coordinate entry. Finally, the last method is just simply the mouse entry. And there's a couple different ways of doing this, but I'm going to click on our space bar to bring back the line command. And you can see I'm jumping around and I'm going to find my point. And if in the bottom left hand corner you can see where I am on the screen. That's kind of difficult to find, right? So a lot of times it's just easier to go 7, 6 because that's where I know I want to start. Okay. Now from here, I have to figure out with the mouse how far am I actually going. Okay. And there's no way of doing that. And that is where this dynamic input comes in. So if I'm in this command and I come right to the bottom, you can see right here dynamic input. I'm going to now turn this on. And when I do this now, you can see that as I go, it is telling me how far I've gone. And I'm going to go to 2.5. And then from here, I'm going to go up at 90 degrees at 1.5. And finally, I'm going to go back to 2.5. And then I'm going to use the C to close it off because there's no reason to really go back. So enter letter C and hit enter. And that is how you would do mouse entry method. And that's because I've turned on the dynamic input uh, toggle. And that concludes the tutorial.